that matter. Um, I think the offense is geared around Frank. I think what they do and how they do it is geared around Frank. Uh, I think he was dinged last time we played, so I don't expect a whole lot of change uh, because they do what they do and they're good at what they do. In, on, on our team, on the New York Giants, you have three or four defensive ends and then two tackles that, the two tackles really set the tone in the middle for you. But you have three or four defensive ends that can change the complexion of the ball game um, on any play, on any given play. A lot of teams that I've been associated with in the past, you, you may have one, possibly two. When you had two, you felt like you were, man, we were great, you know, we were great up front. But if you have three or four, uh, you just at any point at any point in time, one of those guys can just make a game-changing play like O.C. did last week. Uh, so uh, that's why it's very unusual in everything. You don't want to be in that meeting room, and uh, they compete in every single thing. Uh, yeah, I think it's a function of our front. Uh, I think it's a function of the guys in the back row, uh, as well as the linebackers doing a great job of communicating, uh, anticipating and knowing where those guys are because they are so good as, as far as tight ends. Uh, and some of it's luck, <laughs> you know, some of it's luck too. So uh, Vernon's a handful. Um, he's fast. He's as fast as a wide receiver. Uh, he, we have faced really uh, elite tight ends, I think, uh, this season. You know, you go to the New England guys, you go, you know, to Michael, you know, all the way through Gonzalez. And so we are battle tested as far as that's concerned. And we just have to be on top of our game on Sunday in order to defend another guy like that. Oh, wow. You know, when I first came in, there was only, you know, maybe less than a half dozen that could impact a game like that. You know, you play against a Shannon Sharp or, or someone like that, you know, but now it's every week. And what they've done is th there's, there's one, sometimes there's two to defend. I think they have two tight ends that are really good uh, to defend. Uh, we don't know if the second tight end will play or not, but, um, you know, uh, that's, they, they've opened up a new era, uh, aura as far as the offense is concerned because they can spread the field and they can do a lot of things that wide receivers do, plus they're good blockers. Oh, it, very, very valuable in the sense that you feel like you can match up and keep a linebacker on the field instead of putting another defensive back on the field. And uh, that helps. That's the key. That's the key. Can we smack them in the mouth and can we be physical with them and they be physical with us? And you know, when, it all, when it's all said and done, who wins the physical battle? No, it, it, it's, uh, we had a lot of interchangeable parts. And I think I spoke throughout the season that we were not able to play together as a front, as a secondary, and as a linebacking core. And so uh, over the last four or five weeks, we've been able to play together. Um, I think I answered the question during the course of the, of the season that our coverage is based on feel and knowing where people are and trust. Okay, we've been able to feel and trust each other now because we played together as a unit, defensive line, linebackers, and secondary. We're not, the, the parts have all come together and now, we're, you know, I don't have to substitute a guy in, substitute a guy in and, and change the coverage and, you know, uh, say this guy has a weakness so I have to do something different. We've come together and we've been able to play together. And so everybody's a lot more comfortable in their roles. Uh, 
No, we never stopped communicating with each other. You know, uh, you know, we knew we could get it together, and we would get it together. Uh, it was just a matter of when. Yeah, obviously, there was frustration, uh, and we wanted to. Every, you know, this is an era of instant gratification, so we wanted it to happen right now. But uh, we just kept talking to each other. We kept communicating with each other. We kept believing in each other, and uh, I never saw any doubt. Oh, I, I'm seeing the benefit now. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I was seeing the benefit, you know, early, you know, because of uh, the lockout and then uh, the injuries and, and the, you know, trying to in, uh, put new players into the system and, and them learn the system. But I see it now bringing the Chase Blackburn back that understood our system, that had knowledge of our system, and they could go in and uh, within a matter of weeks get caught up to speed. So, yes, from now I do see the benefits. I'm just trying to keep the job that I have. So, <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm happy not to see my name in, in, in print sometimes. So I don't know. I, I really, I've been focusing on the job at hand, and uh, that hasn't been a concern for me. You know, because we have, we, we're able to communicate and we're, we talk to each other. Uh, yes, I think that because I know the players a lot better, definitely. I think that uh, as a coordinator and as a leader, uh, you're most effective when you're listening and when you're not talking. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're done in here.